Yeah. And is it is it built in BC? No, it's built overseas by okay. uh, by Repartner, but but uh, future products uh, will will anyway. Our, our product roadmap is crowded. There's a lot of stuff yeah. coming, but this particular unit's built overseas. And, and IBC is still based in Vancouver. Area? Yeah, the engineering is all over Burnaby. In, in, okay. In, in uh, near Vancouver. In and, and I know Vancouver has gone completely away from fossil yeah, fuels. Yeah, it's getting right harder here. and harder to do gas in Vancouver. So, so, so you're in the, the right city, place. Yeah, that, that was kind of the, the the impetus to get going. Besides yeah. the fact that this is a long overdue revolution for the hydro industry to move to air and water but in, in you know uh, in our backyard it's not all of metro vancouver it's it's technically only vancouver proper that has that but in vancouver city uh, you're no longer allowed to pull a permit for most new construction with any gas heating yeah. appliance yeah. you can still have a, a, a propane fireplace that's fine yeah you of course 60,000 BTUs, but you yeah. can't heat with it so how about a stove a kitchen stove no i think they've been that as well good day really yeah. okay but, but regardless the the province also introduced new legislation so that uh Heat pumps have no tax, and boilers have extra tax. I got you. So it's it's this sort of thing is happening in IBC's backyard. We're trying to sell our own products, and, and we're getting crowded out. So we said, okay, we need to make, embrace the revolution here. Let's get some electrification products. Um, do you, do you foresee coming out with uh, like chill water air handlers? We are 100 percent yes. Okay, so you you'll be able to do the cooling side and, yeah. and handle the ancillary yeah, the so hardware. We have air handlers out now uh, themselves that have a very powerful control on them, uh, but we are actively developing one. With slope coils for drainage and condensation so that we can do chilled water. Okay. Yeah. Good. I'm uh, eager to see it and uh, look forward to uh, seeing it out in the market. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Reem, uh, you can see some of the badges around here. It says asking about sustainability. Reem globally has a major push for sustainability initiatives. Okay. So this has been extremely well supported within the organization. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody is excited to see this happening. Yeah. So this is a major project. And, for us. you know, we've talked about it too. Um, I think this is one of the best times to be in the hydronics industry. You know, the hydronics industry back in the 70s was almost dead. And then PEX tubing came along and it kind of revived the radiant ability, reliability. And, and of course, the market has gone up, but it's still a small fraction of the overall HVAC residential market in North America. Um, I think right now with heat pumps coming in and merging with superior comfort of hydronics, that you've got a really good combination.